Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and whatever else is watching, my name is Nick and I have to say last chapter of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair threw me for a loop. Damn that was some kind of chapter and I'm worried what would happen if more people would start to remember who they were at school. Are they also going to go off on the deep end or is this something else? Well, I'm curious for chapter 4 now, so let's begin. Okay, I took some break. Actually, I have to record the trial again. Um, I recorded the trial again last m after my last uh, break. Um, uh, from the previous time because unfortunately um, when I do a session with a chapter I tend to record play and record an entire chapter all at once it works with how the games save game system uh, goes but I also discovered that for the trial recordings everything got particularly screwed up and footage became well unrecoverable there was just way too many many fr drop frames or uh, frames that went black or were partially visible or had artifacts in them so yeah i decided to record it but not after taking a long break because well recording an entire chapter does take some time or it does take some effort so yes i do know who is already with the blackened which kind of surprised me uh, to be honest and i also know what the answers to certain solutions are although because it has been a, t uh, a while since I uh, played this trial I'm wondering whether um, whether I can uh, actually remember all the solutions I do know one thing that on the action parts I really despise those how I well I didn't like those at the moment so I kind of took a little bit of a precaution on for one of them but it's yeah and some of the logic is also kind of far-fetched um however Let's just dive into the trial because we're gonna look in, uh, into this anyway. And that's the fun part of the game anyway. That's two times anyway now, but anyway, let's continue with anyways and more anyways and how often am I going to say anyway this recording? <laughs> oh well. Let's just see how uh, I'll do it in a second run. <laughs> well, I thank you for understanding at least. Yep. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person... I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Actually, I'm wondering... Each class trial, he says the same like this thing. I'm wondering why no one actually has spoken up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. Uh, let's continue. Let's get in, get onto the trial uh, right by right now. Why not? Uh, <laughs> why don't do they shut uh, Munakuma up uh, <laughs> for a bit? <laughs> Would be funny, but 
Yeah, I haven't gotten across that one just yet. Also not in the previous game. I'm sure you guys are starving by now, but let's get revved up and raring to go. Whoever survives will be treated to a fancy lunch. Guess what? Rabbit curry is on the menu. Huh? I'm not the main ingredient, right? I'm here today <laughs> because Coach Nekomaru risked his life to protect me. I'm going to be the one who avenges him. I'll definitely find out who the killer is. I'm definitely not tempted by curry. Got it? Uh, Akane, <laughs> you seem to have an impressive amount of drool flowing from your mouth. Yeah, Akane, you could have fooled me that you're not tempted by curry. <laughs> hey, why don't we try going over the incident? We weren't Would able to useful. leave Strawberry House. So I want to make sure we get a detailed understanding. Um, I discovered Nekomaru's body a little before 7 a.m. I headed over to Grape Tower from Monokuma Taichi and found the body there. Hajime and Chiaki were also with me. Hajime was with Miss Sonia and Chiaki that early in the morning? Don't <laughs> tell me you three were together since last night! Dude, Hajime sleeps in that tower. What kind of... Oh man, sometimes I'm wondering where his mind goes. Well, actually I don't have to wonder. But he forgets, Hajime sleeps in the same tower and everyone has to show up for Monokuma Tai Chi. Oh boy. I am not some woman with flexible legs. <laughs> uh, of course you're not. You're much classier than that. With legs like those, I could probably do the splits real easy. We just happened to run into each other on the first floor of Grape House and went to the tower together. And yeah. then, the three of us discovered Nekomaru's body. The body discovery announcement was made soon after. Akane heard that and rushed over. We heard the body discovery announcement too, from Strawberry House, obviously. As I recall, obviously. we found out the elevator was out of order, which left us stuck. So we decided to go to the tower for the time being and headed for Strawberry Hall. But someone even broke Strawberry Hall's door button. We couldn't go anywhere because of that. Oh yeah, that happened. Thinking we should at least find some method to communicate, we set our sights on the lounge telephone. Maybe I should have read the truth bullet section a little bit before starting this trial over. Kind of forgot some per and parts. Oh well, let's just see where we, uh, where we Forget end up. Forget these boring intros. Let's talk about the killer. Anyway, it's definitely someone from Strawberry House. Oh. Definitely. There's no way a chick would kill someone so cruelly. So it must be one of you Strawberry House dudes. Uh, I can't even remember. Hajime is also a part of Grape House. And he's also a dude. But not being able to kill someone so cruelly? I wouldn't shove that on dudes per se okay just talking just talking one of you better hurry up and confess or i'll break all of you in half you're the coolest one here now now enough with the That's love why of we need to think about this seriously we don't have the luxury of discussing irrelevant things the incident this time has many questions also, I have to remind everyone, I kind of forgot how awful the background w uh, was during this chapter. And during this trial. Oh god, I still have to look at that one. Oh, why couldn't I continue to the next one? The incident notwithstanding, I also have many questions. Then let's start with something even Miss Sonia can understand. The weapon. Well, the weapon is obvious, right? Huh? 
What the heck, you guys? The weapon! You can totally tell just by looking! Really? What is the weapon? Yeah, you can tell what what the weapon is just by looking. It wouldn't be much of a mystery if that were true. I kind of forgot I had to read those lines. The only thing at the crime scene that looked like a weapon was probably... Please don't tell me you meant the hammer. It's a little bit squeaky clean for that one. Oh god. Oh frick yeah. I guess we should figure out. Let me not the truth bullet section. Out the weapon first. I want to see the controls again. Yeah, I know. Each time I have to play this, I need to look at the controls. Move silencer, fast forward arguments with uh, zero. Uh, well, the circle. I mean. And open handbook menu, triangle, fire, truth bullet, select truth bullet. Oh yeah, that one is the one I needed. The weapon was right there at the scene of the crime. That pillar, huh? No, the hammer! The killer used that hammer and beat the crap out of him. Okay, if it I was unexpected, bit, I suppose so. that is possible. That's right. It was a surprise beating. The weapon is decided. Now, the hammer in the tower was the weapon. Like he said, it looks like that's the case, but... I guess we should figure out the, the weapon clean. first. The weapon was right there at the scene of the crime. That pillar, huh? No, the hammer! The killer used that hammer and beat the crap out of him! No, nope. that's wrong! It looks late. No, I can't accept that that hammer was the murder weapon. Why not? It was Why can't you accept it? Wait to clean. A lot of oil was flowing from Nekomaru's body. Just like yep. human blood, right? If the hammer was used to beat Nekomar, you'd expect some oil to be on it at least. That's true. But that hammer was clean. So that's why you can't accept that it's the murder weapon. That's also true. It, yeah, but the killer might have wiped off the oil later. With what and why leave right. the whole rest? Well, obviously, to make the hammer look like it's not the murder weapon. Then why bother cleaning the oil? If they didn't want it to look suspicious, they would have discarded the hammer. That would be something, yeah. You're pretty insightful, baby gangster. <laughs> Sorry. Baby gangster? Me? <laughs> Just so you all know, I was trying to test you guys. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I thought, maybe you guys mistook the hammer for the weapon or something. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Seems that was a waste of time. Then what was the real weapon used to murder Nekomaru? That's the problem. There wasn't anything else at the crime scene that looked like a potential weapon. Well, that what contains oil. Might be a weapon. Then, how about we look at it from a different angle? If it doesn't have oil on it, it's not the weapon. So whatever has oil on it must be the weapon, right? That's true. The actual weapon has oil on it, but if it's something that at the crime scene that had oil on it... No, it wasn't the chain. It wasn't the hammer. Well, Nico Mao's bo uh, body was... F well, probably covered under... on top of the oil, because it was under it leaking. But we also know that the broken pillar had oil on it. It's something that we noticed fa fairly early on, so... I see! The only thing with oil on it is that broken pillar. Then that pillar is the weapon! Coach Nekomaru got clobbered with that pillar! Not exactly. Nobody could withstand a blow from that pillar. 
Even if you used 100% of your muscle strength, it would be impossible to wield it as a weapon. Question, who can wield that thing as a weapon if Akane and Hajime both tried to lift it and couldn't get it off, uh, off the floor? So, I don't think they would swung it around. So, still probably is the weapon, but probably not like we how we think. Uh, Exactly. Why? We tried to move it, right? Uh, it's no use. It's barely budging. Didn't I tell you? Yeah, that pillar was pretty freaking heavy. But there's one dude who could have lifted that pillar. Nikamaru? Huh? Who are you talking about? Coach Nekomaru's robot body! With that dude's super strength, lifting a pillar would be real easy. So, he lifted the pillar, and then what? Did he use it to beat himself? You mean, Nekomaru killed himself? Don't be stupid! He ain't the type to commit suicide! Then even if Nekomaru could have lifted that pillar, it has nothing to do with the case at all! Huh. Well, I guess you're right. What the heck? Well, maybe not. But it does bother me a little. That word suicide. By the way, the fourth murder of the killing school life was apparently ruled a suicide. Yeah, and the, and the first three also s had some similarities to it. So, does that mean Nikomaru actually killed himself? I don't know. That would mean there is no blackened among them and Nikomaru himself would be. And that would also make sense why there would be rabbit curry on the menu... Uh, Afterwards, because then Monokuma has to take his fr uh, frustrations out on Monomi again. Huh? No, that shouldn't matter. There's no way Nikoma would commit suicide. But that's a problem. If it's not the pillar, then there's no other weapon we can think of. Um, there may be a way to use the pillar as a weapon without lifting it. For reals? Yes, for reals. You can drop the pillar, uh, leverage the top, go... Yeah, but then you have to put Nekomaru in there, but Nekomaru would also... The pillar would also be on top of Me Nekomaru. I don't think that was the case. I see. So my gut was right after all. Alright, it's up to you, Sonia. Prove that pillar was the murder weapon. Understood. Then I shall give it my all. Okay. Sonia, here I go! <laughs> There's no need to lift that pillar. If the pillar was not lifted... Beating him with it is beyond a dream. What about tipping the pillar over? They aimed right for his head and bullseye. Even I could probably tip it over. Considering the pillar's weight, it probably exerted a ton of force. Sonia, you go, girl! <laughs> I'm getting hella excited! Hmm. Which one was it again? I, the killer murdered Nikomaru by tipping over that pillar. Is that really it? I think the pillar fragments There's are no the thing. The, the truth bullet I need. Beating him with it but is not a dream. the question the is then again. They aimed right for his head and bullseye. Oop. Even I could probably tip it over. 
Considering yeah, the I pillar's think... weight, it probably exerted a ton of force. Sonia, you go, girl! Uh... <laughs> I'm getting hella excited! I think it's the tipping it over part. So... There's no need to lift that pillar. If the pillar was beating him with it is beyond a dream. What about tipping the pillar over? They aimed right at ah. his head in bullseye. Even I could be okay. considering it probably exerted. Sonia, you go, girl. <laughs> I'm getting hell. Yeah, I still have three minutes. Oh, that should be okay. But uh, I shouldn't miss too, miss too much. So. Yeah. There's no need to lift that pillar. If the pillar was not lift, beating him with it is beyond a dream. What about tipping the pillar over? No, that's wrong. Yeah, just fire in between. Don't hit the white noise. If Nekomaru was crushed by the pillar, then there should have been fragments on top of his body. Huh? Fragments? The pillar fragments were scattered beneath Nekomaru's body. But there weren't any on top of his body. If the pillar had been tipped over and crushed it, the fragments should have been on top of his body instead. That's true. I briefly probably the pillar would be on top. Oh. But it's probably not what happened. The pillar would probably also be on top of uh, Nikamaru, eh? Hey, and divided in him but it was lying to the side or something as if it fell over first and then make Mao's body rolled over it that looked more like it I see that was entirely my bad if they didn't tip it over then how did the killer murder Nekomaru with that pillar good question how much longer are you gonna focus on the pillar just let it go already there, there's no way I can let it go I'm positive that Nekomaru was killed by that pillar. Why are you so certain about that? I just have a feeling. A feeling, huh? That's just your instincts. And instincts but we can't can say be good. for sure that that instinct is wrong, can we? Oh yeah, I forgot how condescending he uh, had become in this chapter <laughs> towards everyone. Not just Hajime. Huh? There's another way to use that pillar to kill. You guys just haven't noticed it. Is that true? Then I shall ask you, what way is that? You guys, the same as usual. You're unable to clear a path to the future with your own powers. So you just stand there and falter. Yeah, he's pretty condescending. Yeah, I had totally forgotten about that one. Huh. What a waste of talent. And you all intend to fight the future foundation? You make me laugh. What did you say? Regardless, it's not like I want to die with the rest of you. So I guess I should lend a hand. Hey, Nagito. What the hell happened to you? How come you're not talking like a lunatic anymore? I've learned a valuable lesson. Ignorance is by far the greatest shame. Huh? What do you mean? Who cares? Just huh. tell us how the pillar was used to kill! Well, first of all, the pillar itself is not enough. But when combined with a specific item, there's a way it could be possible. A specific, well, specific item. item. Of course. My question exactly. The ultimate weapon. The ultimate weapon? You mean the thing in the octagon? After the final death room? Yes, I've learned my mistake. Isn't that the thing you get when you clear the final dead room? That's where I learned my mistake. So, Nagito knows what the ultimate weapon is? Of course I know. But I'm pretty sure everyone else has seen it, you know? We've seen it? Yeah, but might not have considered it. That's probably th a thing. 
Weapons can come in many shapes and sizes and not as much as you might expect. A single drop of water can be used as a weapon if used appropriately, that is. But then again, who am I to talk? It's not like I've, I have ever killed someone, so... And pretty much weapons themselves. Uh, it's nice and dandy, but uh, uh, yeah. Some people say it's for defense. I would just say weapons only are there to hurt others. That's right. You've seen it clearly. Because I, the one who has claimed dominion over evil, am the ultimate weapon. <laughs> I am he who cuts the insolent catalyst which flows out from the chaos with the sword of victory. I wonder if he truly believes in his own delusions that much, or if he's just putting some awkward front just to be to create a gap between himself and other people so they, he doesn't have to awkwardly have social contact with them <laughs> instead however it's still funny to behold it's only fitting that i deserve to be called the ultimate weapon no you are far greater than the ultimate weapon since you wield your four dark devas of destruction Ouch! That's something Kazuichi... Uh, to be honest, I actually expected either Kazuichi or Gundam to die during this chapter, not Nikomaru. So that, that really threw me off the first time I played through this. But ow! That is not something he is going to like. I see. I don't know why, <laughs> but I'm not liking this. Cut the bullshit and say it clearly. What is the ultimate weapon? In order to clarify that, we first need to solve the secret of the funhouse. Oh? Huh? The secret of the funhouse? You still don't realize it? Jeez, get it together. You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? That's what ah, you make. I forgot. Except for Hajime, of course. Except for Hajime? That's something that you made up. But then again, Naito, we already know that you have a very weird definition of hope. Yeah. If we make it out of this, I'll explain it to you guys. Anyway. We must first clarify the secret of the Funhouse, right? Then I think it must have something to do with the structure of the Funhouse. Probably. Strawberry House leads to Strawberry Tower, and Grape House leads to Grape Tower. But in actuality, they are both the same building, and both houses are linked to the Central Tower. I think... Considering how we found the crime scene in both houses, or in both towers, I have to say. I really did not trust this floor plan at all anymore. Because they were identical except for the color. Meaning you actually came in from the same side. So, saying it's a central tower, that's the incorrect belief. So, that kind of made me wonder, what is the actual structure? I, I had a lot of hypo uh, hypothesis on how it could have been. I was even thinking about that the elevator was the central part, 
that connected both of them and actually the elevator would rotate and then the central tower would rotate even around that in the same direction so that's why it looked like well you had the elevator would just be in the center part so yeah that's how it would look like that was one of the ideas i had but damn that was weird it is undeniable that such a sweet building structure is the secret of the fun house oh god man not only does that make perfect sense but miss sonia's beautiful voice is just so soothing full show I shall leave this matter to your discretion. <laughs> the two houses are connected to the tower in the middle. I thought that at first too, but I ended up finding proof that completely contradicts that. Well, the layout of the crime scene. Was it a strange feeling in the tower this time? In truth, Strawberry Tower and Great Tower are actually the exact same place. So that's the secret of the Funhouse. Is that really it? It's weird to say they're both the same place. I mean, the walls are different colors. Yeah, and the but designs that's light. on the floor are also different. We've already settled this problem. Give it ten years before you argue with Miss Sonia. This whole time we've been thinking the two towers are the same building, but if that was the only mystery, there's no way Nagito would mention it. In truth, Strawberry oh, Tower and Grape Tower are actually the exact done. same place. So that's the secret of the funhouse. Is that really it? It's weird to say they're both the same place. I mean, the walls are different colors. And the designs on the floor are also different. There is a true. We've already settled this problem. Give it ten years before you argue with Miss Sonia. I think it was the first uh, option that, that, yeah. I think that is it. First option. In truth, but... Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the exact same place. No, that's that wrong. wrong. I have to find the buttons again. Both of those towers, are they really the same place? Why are you asking that now? Do you harbor a grudge because my kingdom destroyed your homeland? Wait, what? What kind of delusion are you talking about right now? We never... Where did that actually came up? Okay, I'm trying to go back to all the chapters that we've had before even even thinking about what, what's coming up in the class trial itself but I don't, don't think ever there was mentioned that it was definite that her kingdom was behind it I think there was speculated about how big an organization you have to be to be behind the whatever is at the center of all the problems this world ender organization or the future foundation of or whatever behind the great great tragedy but Never was there anything definitive said about uh, something like this. So again, Sonia, why are you coming with... Are you starting to be just as delusional as Gundam now? Is he rubbing off on you after... The, all that time you spent with him? I don't hope so. Oh well. Hajime, I won't tolerate any sort of rebellion. 
Shut up, Kazuichi. Doesn't it seem strange? When we went to Grape Tower from Grape Hall, Nekomaro's body was in front of the door to Strawberry Hall. But when we went to Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall, his body was in front of the door to Grape Hall. It's probably some kind of trick, like the floor rotating 180 degrees or something. If it is, then see? That means it could have passed as the exact same place, right? If so, then what? Do you seriously think such a simple answer is the correct answer? Does that mean he's wrong? Yeah. Oops, I guess I've said too much. No. If the floor didn't rotate, then that means we need to think about the structure of the building. Actually, Naito, you've seen the outside. We know you've looked through the window in the octagon. You know exactly how the structure looks like. And you're the only one that knows it. So, eh? You're playing on an advantage here. So don't stop being condescending, will ya? Bow down. Oh yeah, this thing. Oh. Then how about this? Somebody moved Nekomaru's body. While we were really? moving from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower? Really? They should have all been together during that time. Even if they tried to move the body inside the tower. What about the rest? And Monokuma did it! While we were moving, Monokuma quickly moved things around. But Including the oil and everything? Moved. Are you saying the broken pillar was moved too? If it is too heavy to carry, let them roll it. Just like if there is no bread, let them eat cake. What? Sonia, yeah, sometimes you are not really making much of a sense. Oil on the floor, I think that was the one. There are many different ways. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru oh, yeah. could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma's doing. Moving the body and the pillar in such a short time. That might be hard even for Monokuma, don't you think? It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong. Wielding the power of the futuristic Robo Bear. The pillar, the body. Allow me to cut through those words. Yeah. I wanted to break the robo bear, but luckily the, the right the answer came up. Is possible, but it would have been impossible to move the oil on the floor. Huh? When the position of Nekomaro's body and the pillar changed, the oil surrounding his body moved too. Oh yeah, just uh, so an indication that with those knives, I know. I know, I know. I just flipped over it a little bit too fast. Um, I should have shown the entire uh, dialogue first, but sometimes those things can be really a pain in my butt to do that. So forgive me if for this class trial, I if I have pretty much the answer already in my head, I can't skip over those. So. If it comes a little bit familiar, although the last one, that just one, kind of made a big uh, mistake because I wanted to slice the futuristic robo. Luckily, the everything that popped up after was the actual <laughs> answer and there's a delay between pressing the button and the knife actually going down. I kind of was a lucky hit there. So... Well, let's continue with uh, Hajime's explanation. Physically moving all of the oil like that is simply not possible, no matter how you look at it. Then it's impossible to think it was moved. I... I am terribly sorry. I cannot believe I got so fired up. It's alright. A fired up Miss Sonia is awesome to watch. So what really happened? 
Does that mean the two towers aren't the same building? Well, it's in the hmm. same building. We can't be certain of that either. Not when the experiment involving the handbook I left on the tower floor was a complete success. Not to mention that they would have to copy the entire uh, crime scene from one place to the other place as well. Including the things that we did after we found the body. Yeah, the e-handbook was still there. That's why we thought the two towers were the same building. If they're not the same building or two different buildings, then what are they? Hmm. No idea, huh? This m mystery ties into the secret of the fun out. But we don't have enough clues to solve that mystery. Then the only thing we can do is rely on the one person who has those clues. Hey, Nagito. I thought it would come to this. I knew my turn was coming up. Fine. I'll tell you guys a big hint that can help you solve the secret of the funhouse. Give us the answer, not a friggin' hint! But then it wouldn't mean anything. I need you guys to do this class trial properly. It's also important for me because it will help me... determine something. Determine? Is he talking about the traitor? If so, why did Nagito say that all of a sudden? Did something happen to him? But how do we know your hint is any good? It's suspicious that you're the only one who knows it. That's true. I have a good reason for that. That's also true. The reason I'm the only one who knows it is because I was the only one who performed the appropriate action. Oh, that thing. He performed the appropriate action in order to learn the secret. Could he talking about... Yeah... Oh, I wanted to uh, do this. I really wanted to do this. I know it's wrong, but Monaco with HE? <laughs> uh, I also thought first the investigation at Strawberry House because I was looking at the final, looking for the final death room. I completely forgot that it is also called the life-threatening game. Yeah, that's the right answer. God, I have no more to say, Monaco with HE. I know the answer is bo uh, the result is boring though. If I do that. But he went through the life threatening game. I see. You're talking about the final dead room, right? And that thing was a pain to get through. I really need to. Well, recently Brain Age came out for the Switch, so probably I have to pick that up one up again because. Well, I did a little test recently and it said my brain was 80 years old. Not such a good result. Because that makes me at least 10 years older than I'm a, I, I actually am. You cleared the life-threatening game there and found something, didn't you? That's right. The hint is what I saw after I cleared it. In the depths of the final dead room, there was a hidden room surrounded by concrete. And there, a small conspicuous window waited, all by itself. From that window, I saw some very strange scenery. Strange scenery? Oh yeah, I remember. That made me rage. As we were allowed to click on it, but not view it ourselves. Oh, that was bad storytelling. If we had to go, well, go fade to black at that point. Okay, okay. That was a good thing. But it didn't. Uh. Instead, it faded to black as soon as we started looking at... The document. 
but we already knew the document was there so if it fade to black we could already know that hey uh, Nagito took his time to read it just that that fade toward the transition back to Hajime again was just such a bad bad choice but I'm rambling and instead of explaining it it might be faster just to show you at an opportune time I found a perfect camera in the final dead room we had to use it for a picture password. Yep. Naito grinned creepily as he retrieved a small digital camera from his inner pocket. See? This is it. And as he said that, he showed us a peculiar picture. 